As I start making more use of my new lathe, there are certain organizational things that I want to get fixed. And I had these figured out on my last lathe, and now I have to implement them on this one. First of all, there are certain tools that I like to have ready access to. So I'm going to be putting a small shelf on the backsplash here and also adding a very simple rack for holding uh, quick change tool holders. So stick around and I'll show you my solution for that. There's some really nice solutions on YouTube. They're kind of artisan craftsmanship solutions to making these kinds of racks. Um, mine is much quicker and simpler, frankly. Doesn't look quite as nice, but does the job. Let me show you what I mean. So this is a piece of 8020 aluminum extrusion. It's available in different sizes and sections, and it's kind of a modular uh, approach to making frames and different things. And this is readily available uh, from McMaster Car or other places. And there's a variety of different brackets and nuts and different things that work with it. But all I'm going to do is take this section, this is a one inch by two inch section, and mount it to the top of the splash here. So all I have to do is drill a few holes in the top cover and then screw this in place. Okay, got the tool rail installed. Next is the tool shelf. This is a piece of 135 thick stainless steel that I had laser cut to my specifications, which are very exacting and which I'm now going to attach to the back of the lathe splash there. And this will hold my T-handled Allen wrenches all wrenches actually, and then a selection of other tools that uh, I want on hand throughout any machining, which will be things like dial test indicators, um, height setting tool, a couple of things like that. So without further ado, This innocuous flat piece of aluminium, aluminium, is something I had made at Send Cut Send. And this is designed to hold a BXA size tool holder. It just needs a 90 degree bend in it.
Well, I can do the bend and that saved me a bit of money. Behold my little sheet metal machine. Behind the press brake, there is a backstop, and I've got that set to the right distance to form a bend across here. And all I have to do is push the part into that. And there's my bracket. Now I just have to do that another 20 times or so and uh, I have all the brackets I need. You can see how the screws are positioned to avoid the cutout in the tool holder. And it's very easy to arrange these brackets closer together, further apart, back to front, whatever you need to suit your tool arrangement. Very satisfied with that. The tools fit on those really nicely. I stopped short of the main work area. Um, I just prefer not to have tools there. It's not like I'm reaching for these when the machine is running. But that's just how I like to have it. And these are the most frequently used uh, T-handle wrenches. So I like to have the tools out of the way there. Um, I had the tools arranged this way on my old lathe. Never had any problem reaching over the top to get wrenches. And I was only ever doing that with the machine powered down. But as always, you have to set these things up in a way that suits you. You have to work safely and uh, be aware of what a machine like this can do to you if you don't watch out. But I'm very happy with this arrangement. This, uh, this kind of thing just makes the machine easy to use. Everything's to hand. The last piece of organization I have to do is uh, arrange a little tool cart to hold the chuck keys and wrenches. Hope you found that useful. I find that organizing the tools in the shop for efficient use uh, makes the shop a lot more pleasant to work in and can be as much fun as many of the projects themselves. Um, my methods of arranging things aren't for everyone, but they work really well for me. I like them a lot. So hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for looking in. Thanks for following along. Now at a point where the machine is all fully installed and set up and ready to go, organized, there's no excuses anymore. It's time to get on with another engine and that's going to be coming up really soon. So hope you'll come back and uh, look in on that. Thanks again, wherever you are in the world, stay safe and well, all the very best, happy holidays and good luck to you.